welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. I'm a mama to four. We're a family of six doing mobile home living. So today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me as I decorate my mobile home. Cause I, y'all know I've been focused on projects like backsplash and accent walls and painting and stuff. I need to just take time to do the finishing touches on my little single wide, especially with the living room. I've been slowly remodeling it. I need to take the time to add decor, especially to the walls cause my walls are really bare. So I'm gonna bring y'all along with me as I do that today and Secret, this is future Marina. I've already done it, but I forgot to do an intro, so. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. I painted it blue. I don't like it blue. Don't like it blue. And that was a three hour job, but I don't like it. I even distressed it to like kind of antique it to see if I would like it. Still don't like it. This is what it looks like up close. As you can see, like it does, it looks antiqued. I'm just not a fan of the turquoise-ish color. It was supposed to be, let me know also if this, um, I've been fiddle farting around with my camera colors because they have been very like neutral and gray toned and my house isn't that gray toned in real life. It's, this is more of like a grayish. It's a tan gray because I didn't like all the gray. So this is coming up pretty true to color. That's coming up a little bit lighter on camera than it is. It's, a, it's turquoise. It's straight up turquoise. It wasn't supposed to be turquoise. It was supposed to be robin egg blue. I've been going crazy with the robin egg blue. Went on, I went on a rant on Instagram that, <laughs> shame your distractions, majorly. What is? I went on around Instagram that was like, you know what? Like I do like farmhouse. Like I know that's not everybody's cup of tea. I get so many comments that say, I hate farmhouse. I wish it would die. I like farmhouse. This is my house. It's going to stay farmhouse until I want to change it. And who knows? I make it into. There's a child walking. Under there. Who, who knows? I may, I may get into something else later on. But right now, I like farmhouse. But I like my dark woods. I know that's not. You don't see a lot, a lot of dark woods in the farmhouse style that I go for. You see more whites and gray woods. I don't like gray woods. I like my gray wood floors, but I don't like gray woods. So I'm going to do what I want to do. <laughs> I'm going to paint it this color. It's a grayish brown. It's coming off more gray on camera than it is in real life. It, it it's, a, it's in the brown family. It's porch step and Valspar. So it's Valspar. There we go. I'm going to do it this, see if I like it, and whitewash it up. Maybe even do some antiquing on it with some, actually, my stain I left outside and it probably got rained on. I'll figure something out. I may go in with some black and kind of antique the edges. Porch step. They should have named it Stoop Kid. Stoop Kid. I'm gonna try it with this, and we're just gonna like roll with the punches. Whatever I like. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes I get it done and I don't like it, and I change it. And that's okay. It don't have to be perfect. Yeah. See, that's more of yeah. It's more brown than it is gray. Don't you wanna have fun? Fool around someone. Don't you wanna have fun? Said that they don't got a future, future like that. It burns, so give him something worse to kill his head with, making for it get somehow. Might be that another day she would have wished he stayed, but they're done. Sorry, it won't be enough this time. Yeah, he's calling all his friends to get some action and distract him right now. He's fine, but Lucy on the line, let's get this started. Where's the party tonight? Somebody got on to him for uh, talking about my butt. They said he needed to respect me. You know what? Nobody could respect me more than Shane. You know what? No, no. You're right. I shouldn't have 
I shouldn't have said that. What I should have said is that butt's got that curve appeal! Said that they don't got a future, future like that. It hurts, so giving something worse to pass the time. Don't you wanna have fun? So I'm just taking this damp washcloth with some white paint on it, and I'm just getting messy with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. The weirder it looks, the more character it has. That's my motto. So I'm just making sure there's no really harsh lines, but I'm also doing it harder in some areas so it'll take off some of that brownish gray paint because it's not fully dry right now and I really want to give it some texture and when it takes off that gray paint then it shows that blue underneath and that really gives it some character I didn't know that till I got started and saw it happening and I was like oh man this is working out in my favor So this is exactly why you shouldn't get mad whenever projects don't end up the way that you want them to because the blue being under this is working out my favor. I want this to look and not really antique but old, rustic, farmy, just really used, right? If I had just put the white on here to whitewash this, it would have looked like I just tried to whitewash it. But because that blue, because I fudged up and I used that blue, it's leaving this it's eat, when I, this wet washcloth is eating away at the paint, leaving the blue underneath it on the edges. Do you see that? The blue. Let me see if I can get it to focus on it. And that blue right there is giving it some character. It's giving it some texture. And that's exactly what I wanted to achieve with just the whitewash. But I couldn't do that, so the blue underneath it worked out in my favor. That's why you should never get mad at yourself. Listen, y'all always ask me, Marina, how do you just go in and jump into it and do it and get paint everywhere? It ain't nothing you, it ain't nothing you can't fix. And nine times out of 10, it works out in your favor. Just afraid of being alone. Well, I don't care cause right now I feel the love that we said we would burn. Oh, I know that you feel it too. this little key shelf I think you're supposed to hang your keys on it I found it at always for like $4.99 $5.99 something like that it was cream colored though and y'all know I don't like cream colored furniture in my house I don't mind cream colored fabrics I actually like cream colored fabrics but I don't like cream colored furniture that's why I painted my dining table and all that so I was like I saw it and I said you know what I could probably hang my measuring cups from that so I just painted it white and then I went in with the brown paint that I just painted that ladder shelf with and I just kind of like roughed it up a little bit okay roughed it up a lot <laughs> would you let it be if I leave tonight we could do this right we'll find the remedy or would you stay with me now
that you see in this video it isn't a decor haul video that i did and i will have it linked down below i did it just the other day um so all this stuff should still be available at your local tj maxx hobby lobby walmart all that stuff i'll be sure to link it down below Despite what some of you think, <laughs> decorating areas doesn't come easy to me. I'm not a decorator by nature. I'm not good at it. I just fiddle fart around with it until it looks decent. Um, I also have OCD. So like if I have three items on one shelf, I can't have three items on the next shelf. It drives me crazy. For some reason, I have to like diversify the number of items on each shelf. And I think that works out in my favor because I think that's actually a decor hack. I don't know though, don't take my word for it. I just, I mess around until it's something I like, you know? Um, I have a lot of fudge ups in my decor thing I got going on. I don't know where I was going with that, but I fudge up a lot. And sometimes they work out in my to my advantage. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> sometimes it's bad. I've showed y'all the good, the bad, the ugly, the pretty, all that together. And y'all know that I mess up a lot. But that makes me live in proof that you don't have to have a degree in interior design to make your home pretty. Every thrift store and antique store here in Tennessee, they close at freaking the butt crack of dawn. sat down I just don't know what to do I want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts ah there's my nanny you can see my nanny so um hopefully there she is hopefully she didn't call me from the toilet that's normally where she calls me from she calls me from the toilet <laughs> I hope she's not watching she will kill me but that's my nanny that's who raised me been in love have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop So these shelves probably look familiar to y'all who have been here for a while because they were the shelves that were in my kitchen before I did the shiplap wall. See, I hoard decor, I keep it, you know, because I don't have a lot of money and I come from a little bit of nothing. So when I have something nice, I ain't gonna just get rid of it. Oh. Many hot dogs are done. I'm not gonna just get rid of it. I'm gonna keep it and use it later on. So I ain't got a paint stirrer. We're just gonna have to shake this up. I, I also paint to use it. I also don't have an extra paintbrush that I can spare. So I'm just gonna use my finger because I gotta cover up these little areas. But 
let's just hope, because this is an old can of paint, let's just hope it's not like the last time I opened an old can of paint when there was maggots. I mentioned that in the video, I think it was the last video, and a bunch of y'all were like, okay, we need a story time. Honestly, I just, I opened a can of paint that I'd had for like two years, and started painting and realized there was some texture in the paint and they were baby maggots and it was full of them wasn't it like i was like shane but shane's like that's black what is that and like they were like they weren't just little bitty maggots like they were like no joke that big and they were black and i don't know how they got in the can because the can was brand new and it was sealed so it had to be a manufacturing issue. It had to be because it was and it was just white interior paint, so it hadn't been mixed or anything. But they were like that big, no joke. I had them slathered up on my wall and I touched them with my hands trying to figure out what they were. It was bad. So just saying, if you had a can of paint like this one where you haven't opened it in a while, just beware. I'm about to stick my finger in this, so hopefully there's no maggots in here. Because if there is, I will run out of this place faster than I'd run the pews at church. Not even kidding. See, the bad part about it is you can't see them at first. I didn't see them at first. I was painting on my walls with maggot paint. To the left, shake it to the right. Come on, baby, you know who I like. No maggots, please. <laughs> And you ain't even had to dirty a paintbrush. We got paintbrushes in our hands and we don't even know it. See, first world problems is you don't have a paintbrush. But if you just get that trailer park out of you a little bit, just tap into that trailer park. You got fingers. Nobody else. I got you. And you got me too. You can ride. Here I'm just taking a table runner that I got to match my buffalo plaid curtains because y'all know when I like something, I just vomit it into my house. It was too much on my table. So I was like, how can I utilize this? I just cut a square off and folded it, stuck it in that little bucket, left a corner hanging out and look how cute it turned out. Throw some greenery in there and man, like it's cute. Can you tell by now that I really like whitewashing stuff? Okay, this isn't really whitewashing. I just like bright, fresh things. And a white coat of paint makes everything look bright and fresh. And while I still wanted the brown to show through, because I really love my wood, y'all know that, I love the way that white looks like roughly painted over wood. Always make it through. What we do is what we do. I can take you anywhere, somewhere, we won't be scared. You will see me fly in I'm staring into your blue eyes. We don't need nobody else. I got you, and you got me too. Decorating shelves is always intimidating to me. And um, tear trays, I suck at tear trays. But what I do is I just fill far around. Y'all see, I literally made that out of a table runner, some extra greenery I had from making my wreath the other day, and a bucket. <laughs> my camera was having the hardest time focusing. I'm so confused and looks <laughs> I'm like, how do I fix this? It fixed itself though, so. It fixes itself in a minute. I've been saving, I've been saving you. You 
You say me to you Yeah, I need it Don't you need me to Cause I got you And you got me too I once felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying heights Riding on the dizzying heights Nothing could stop us Sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong It was way more than a dream We climbed up Yeah, over the hillside It's alright, we stood there all wide eyed You and I Floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back No going back There's no going back to your own life no Living in the past I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. I hope you have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. I'm loving the way that my single wide is coming along, and I want to encourage you that you can make any home your own, even a box on the side of the street. You can make it your own. Whatever it is that you got, work with what you got, and don't go into debt to do anything. Definitely don't go into debt to keep up with the Joneses. We don't do that around here. All right, I love you guys. Remember, Jesus loves you more, and I will see y'all later.